Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're gonna feature a pretty spicy team uh, featuring a very rare Pokemon in uh, the Great Lake and that's Crocodile. Crocodile you need to trade a pretty low level. Apparently according to this person's IV they have a rank 85 uh, Crocodile in the Great Lake which is uh, kind of insane. This thing's extremely glassy. Um, this team will auto lose to Swamper but let's let's go ahead and get started. Uh, with the battles, uh, we'll see how these uh, battles will go, whether they'll go crooked or will they'll find a way to win. All right. Um, okay, Toxicroak into Venusaur. This is a good lead. Uh, has uh, two good answers to this. Uh, Toxicroak is a very good answer, um, but does take uh, quite a bit of damage uh, from the Flensy plan. Can actually no shield. Does a tremendous amount of damage. Can actually mud bomb bait. Uh, we'll see whether or not they'll shield, because uh, the sludge bomb probably would just barely not KO. Okay, gonna okay, gonna try to catch. Does does catch? Okay, they still throw the extra vine whip, um, but does end up catching the move. It does have a mud bomb back, which is pretty nice. Uh, they come into jelly. Do they know? Well, they might. They might know that this person has a crocodile in the back, and crocodile uh, does very well against uh, Jellison. Um, doesn't need to shield the Shadow Ball, but uh, would be okay to shield as well. Um, gonna Shadow Ball. Uh, we'll see whether they should beat them to the Zap Cannon. Uh, just barely. Uh, it might even be a decent CMP. Uh, we'll see what the opponent wants to do. They actually double shield. Okay, let's see. Okay. Um, I'm okay. I'm not 100 percent sure they're playing there. I, I'm assuming they're trying to check catch catch there. Um, Oh, they do. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, we'll see if this is a Shadow Ball or Bubble Beam. They do Shadow Ball. Okay. Uh, definitely needs to wait the clock out. Um, I'm not sure if you come back Reggie here. Okay, go Crook. It makes sense too. Going to look to farm down this... Uh, oh, man. Those those Snarls did. Those are the most powerful Snarls I've ever seen. Uh, we'll see what comes in. They come in Jelly. Going to do one Snarl, then throw the move. Uh, this should take out the gelatin, and we'll see what's in the back. It is a Bassadon. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you love to see this. We'll see if this is one-shots. This thing's very attack-weighted, uh, so we'll see. It absolutely one-shotted the Bassadon. I don't know if it was an XL Bassadon. Someone could tell me uh, down below whether or not Earthquake from Crocodile actually one-shots uh, Bassadon, but that was uh, that was absolutely amazing to see. All right, Toxcrow, it's like, okay. Um, they actually switch here to Honchcrow. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, we'll see. They, they, honestly, this Braid Bird is still going to do a tremendous amount of damage. I don't think they'll bait. Oh, okay. They, they do bait. Okay. That's okay too. Um, I don't think like any necessary reason to bait. Uh, cause, uh, yeah, that did a tremendous amount of damage. Going to look to throw the Focus Blast right before they reach the Sky Attack. They do end up shielding, um, which I think is okay. Uh, honestly, I think you just let this go. You have like two good answers to uh, to Needle Queen, and then you just counter down. Yeah, just counter down, easy counter down. Uh, we'll see what they have in the back. Hopefully, not a Charmer. Well, they have energy, so it might be okay even if it's a Charmer. Ends up being a Grass type. Well, that's fortunate to see here. Um, interesting that they came in. Uh, and then going to look to counter down. Very nice. Able to get the counter down. And the opponent actually decides to leave the match. Um, I guess they're down a shield. And this talk show has tons of energy. So um, very unique pick with the Hunch Crow. All right. Uh, okay. Swampert. I said auto lose Swampert. But technically talk show has like an okay matchup in the two shield versus Swampert. But they do get denied. Uh, as you can see here, these counters are doing a lot of damage. Probably can just two shield and counter down. Looks like that's going to be maybe the play. Okay, I'm just going to CMP tie. Um, yeah, okay. And then probably do five counters and CMP tie again. It has to shield. You have to shield this. Uh, yeah, I'd probably do five counters and throw again. Okay, or just throw again. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right. Um, well, this is incredibly awkward here. Um <laughs> that's well sometimes that's just the game okay they actually no shield here they actually come in drapeon that is a uh an interesting 
um, switching. They must be really weak to Toxicro in the back. Maybe like a Steel in the back. Um, not sure. They actually Sludge Bomb. Okay, it makes sense. Okay, now Crook looks really good against this uh, Drapion. Unluckily that they have Aqua Tail. Gonna throw the Crunch. Uh, does resist all the moves. There, it's, that's not Aqua Tail. They come into Wall Rain here. And uh, yeah, this is absolutely game over. Doesn't matter if they EQ um, uh, Reggie, because Reggie will easily be able to survive. And uh, gonna look to land the Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon and Focus Blast do the exact same amount of damage to uh, Wall Rain. Both base 150, no stab, and more than enough to take out the Wall Rain. Uh, makes sense. Conce conceptually, they could have went came in. Uh, a warring into the talk show, but it was going to be really tough for them regardless. Okay, good lead. Um, still a little bit awkward because the mud shots are super effective, but uh, these okay now they're at the EQ. Some weird timing, uh, in terms of the fast moves there. So we'll see whether or not they'll bait. They went to double rock slide, they do rock slide bait. I think they need three more for the. Next rock like this. So this should be a CMP. Honestly, I think you, if they shield this, you let it go. Yeah, and then you come in Crook. Okay, this is a very nice move. They do EQ, which is totally fine. You come Crocodile. And then uh, you're not worried about Rock Slide. Um, it is enough for the EQ. Because uh, it's 7 for the second one. And then you look to farm down. And Crook with energy is very good unless they come in like Tokyo's or something. Uh, we'll see. Oh my goodness. 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 Wow. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. Okay. Crook literally still in the show. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. This is <laughs> Oh, you'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. That was, I don't know actually why they stayed in the lead, but uh, you'd love to see it. That was awesome. That was awesome. They actually had a, uh, Deox is very good against this team, so. Okay. And they come in uh, a gold bat. Okay, this is an excellent uh, situation here. Uh, interesting, they come in gold bat, so they must have a pretty hard answer in the back. Um, it's interesting, they throw the poison fang. Uh, maybe just soften up for... Because honestly, the Shadow Ball doesn't do that much. And I guess you want the damage. Gonna Zap Cannon. Uh, this will probably one-shot the uh, Gold Bat. If it barely lives, that's actually better. Oh, they double shield. Oh, no, they, they shield there. Uh, that's an interesting one. Okay. Um, Shadow Ball still won't KO because now it's only single. But gonna shield. Wants to maintain uh, the switch. Though, I, I, I don't think... Switch is like super important. Uh, Crook probably does okay against. Wow. Okay. They. Uh, okay. They come back. Uh, I see. Yeah. That makes sense. Like they want to preserve the. Um, they want to preserve the goal bat because this is like their only answer to. Uh, to. Uh, their only answer to um, Tosh Crow. So that, that may that actually made a lot of sense to double shield there. Uh, should be able to reach the mud bomb before they can farm down. The Sludge Bomb would do uh, more more damage, right? Because they're both single resisted. Uh, but still does a pretty good moderate amount of damage. Uh, actually going to come Crook. Um, resist everything. Make, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Um, they do reach another one. Uh, but this should be pretty okay. If they switch, you just switch. Okay, going to land the Crunch. And then if they let this go, you just immediately switch to Reggie and gonna throw the focus blast and then basically just needs to get two focus blasts. Uh, we would be able to easily live um, a foul play or even a dark pulse or whatever move they wanna throw. Uh, not, not too big of a concern. They do foul play and should be able to reach another focus blast to take out the Umbreon. Very well done. Very, very, very well done. All 
All right. Talk show into Kofor Gregis. This is uh, very bad lead. Oh, going to lag a little bit there, which is obviously not great. They do come in. Uh, well, I guess this is where you want to see it. Um, kind of nasty that they get the huge um, boost in counters. Uh, going to throw the Focus Blast. Hopefully they no shield, but the chance of the no shield is extremely unlikely. Okay. Um, looks like they hit the thing, which uh, makes sense. Um, I think you let this go still. Oh, going to shield. Okay. And gonna look to land the focus blast, take both shields. I guess shields down for crook is really good, but um, honestly, this uh, scrafty is gonna hit Toxicro very hard. Uh, you gotta no shield this, and then uh, I think honestly, you just throw the mud bomb. Um, oh my gosh, that did so much damage. Oh, okay, that's actually really good here. Um, don't need shield anything, but honestly, two shadow balls probably KOs uh, crocodile. Yeah, it definitely does. Maybe do th four, then throw. Okay, well, that is... Uh, okay, well, you, now you got to go 100. Uh, but going to need to survive two counters afterwards or strategically undercharge. Oof, because they'll definitely... Oh, my goodness. What the heck? Okay, uh... It makes sense, though, because they can counter down and get to another. Yeah, now you need to sledge bomb it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm surprised that the uh, Scrafty did not get to a pop. Uh, very, very nicely done. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, I think the Bastion, honestly, could have taken down the Toxicroy at that health. But it certainly would have been uh, tricky. Okay. So you definitely want to see it. Here, unfortunately, uh, XL Azu wins the one to zero matchup, um, and uh, we'll see. Oh, okay, um, doesn't look like this one's excelled, which is fine. Uh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Get out of there! Get out of there! Okay, uh, this uh, Doom Desire does a lot of damage. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, we'll be able to outpace the... Uh, is it four? Okay, okay. They're going to no shield this. Okay, they come in. Okay, this is actually good. Um, it's a very uh, fortunate situation. Because, uh, uh, well, they they might have Hydro on, on um, Azu, so... But... Well, let's see. Definitely want to come in uh, Reggie, but two shields is zero, and plus they have the Azu still. I'm gonna farm up to a bunch, and then okay. Ooh, uh, honestly, if they would have switched a little bit sooner, it would have been a little bit nicer. But it's okay. Gonna be able to lock on down and then throw the Zap Cannon, and then look to debuff this Altaria as many times as possible. But two shields, still going to be pretty tough, even with a, uh, yeah, this is still going to be pretty close match, because uh, these sky attacks and dragon rests are going to really add up, at, you got to debuff as soon as possible, and then um, a focus blast should be able to KO, but I think you just go for the zap cannon. Okay, it looks like this is actually fine, because uh, it looks like the dragon rests are now doing um, not that much damage. And yeah, gonna be a, gonna be perfectly fine. Zap cannon two OP. Honestly, a non zap. Well, maybe they would made to three uh, flash cannons, but that worked out uh, very well uh, for them. So yeah, good game there. Maybe the, I'm surprised the Altaria didn't have a move already because it could have threw a sky attack right away before the debuff, and Altaria definitely went CMP. Okay, this is a good lead. Is that where we want to see it? They switch out into Fortress. Oof, that's actually not great. Uh, okay, that is not great. Uh, they do Mirror Shot. Okay, gonna go for the Crunch. Really needs a Shield. Shield and Debuff would be the ideal scenario here. No Debuff, but does get the Crunch. Um, doesn't KO. Uh, it's not a fantastic situation, but you definitely come in Reggie. 
<sighs> you shield the EQ? I don't think they bait here, but yeah, they don't bait. Go to 100. Okay, gonna bank the energy. Okay, it is able to farm down. They come into Zoomer. Okay, this is actually looking really good right now. This this trainer throwing trying to throw a good timing, which is which is really important. Uh, and this this should be this should be game over. And then you just shield this, and then uh, build up to a bunch of energy. They ice beam, not a big deal. And gonna throw the mud bomb. And they uh, end up shielding. This doesn't really matter. I think you just obviously you have to let it go. But this, this is game over. The focus blast will absolutely one shot. Uh, the Obstagoon. And uh, we're going to say Obstagon. Bye bye. It's not good. After Loon. <laughs> that was, that was a absolutely uh, atrocious joke. But uh, that's okay. All right, uh, Swampert. Okay, Gosh, honestly, regular Swampert is way worse than Shadow Swampert because again, um, these counters don't do as much damage, but you can still definitely play this out. Uh, you do four more than okay. They actually lagged. Okay, uh, so did still did four, but maybe you could have did one more. But uh, we'll see this. Uh, okay, okay. Again, they lagged. Okay, gonna shield. Okay, they come into G Fist. Okay, interesting. Um, well, keeping the Swamper alive is, is really problematic. Uh, really, ooh, okay, there's a Rock Slide. Should be able to survive the Rock Slide, um, but we'll need to survive the Mud Shot afterwards. Okay, actually, two Mud Shots. Okay. Ooh, this is nasty here. We'll see whether or not Crook can survive this EQ. Oh man, it can just barely survive. Gonna throw the crunch. Maybe it had the EQ there. Um, okay. Okay. Well, he banked the mud bomb, which is actually like a really pro play. Uh, show me Skarmory. Oh, Bastodon. Wow, that is. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is not a good day. For for you, Bastion, triple good against Bastion. Uh, Bastion actually, an uh, XL Bastion will easily survive this uh, Focus Blast, um, but uh, it really doesn't matter. They can uh, bring all the flamethrowers that they want. Uh, nothing's gonna be able to take down this uh, Registeel. I'm gonna be able to lock on down, and uh, we take out the Bastion. Okay, I believe this is gonna be the last match I'm gonna be showing uh, with this team. Really fun matches. All right, so it has two answers to this wall rain. We'll see how they want to play this out. Wall rain is actually like very annoying to, to deal with just because it, it, Icicle Spear is such a good move. Oh man. Okay, gonna, okay. We'll see what they do. They have the uh, Icicle Spear. Okay, gonna shield. Yeah, this is a. Uh, Gonna be able to farm down. Okay, well that that this is very good. This is very good. Hopefully they shield. That would be amazing. They do shield. This is actually absolutely amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Um, this is a bone club. Okay, show me a big crook sweep here. This this uh, I I I let's see if Mirawak can survive. I know Marowak is, uh, it does survive. Okay, good shield. Okay, I like this shield because they're, show me a Bastidon. Show me a Basti. Okay, Azu. Okay, that's okay. Gonna throw the EQ. And uh, this is gonna be absolutely a good game. I'm gonna switch and then land the Zap Cannon to absolutely destroy uh, this Azumarill. Um, Okay, well, this is match up goes on for a little bit longer. I'm gonna zap get in, but I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, thank you very much for sending me these very, very, very fun battles. And I'm gonna leave it there. If you like, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.